What's good, fam? It's your bro Kwame B here, and welcome to Kwame B Reviewing, the food review show where I always give you the real deal on all the food that I eat. All of my reviews and recommendations are based on my personal preferences and my experiences as a restaurateur. On this episode, we're here at one of Florida's biggest festivals of the year, the annual Strawberry Festival in Plant City, Florida. Let's, let's get review. 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 Minnie's original buttermilk corn dog, which is, look at this huge line, it's insane. And I'm at the back of it, so we'll see how long this takes. All right, here we go. We are at Smitty's original hand-dipped buttermilk corn dogs. We just waited in an insane, like 30, almost 40 minute line to get this in the line. is still queued up even after all that time. So this is supposed to be special, but we're gonna see right here, right now. Not gonna lie, that is delicious. It has a beautiful, crisp, crunchy exterior on the outside. The breading is nice and slightly sweet on the inside. You get to the hot dog, it's nice and salty, right? A good little moist bite there. It's amazing. You can tell that they put time, effort into this recipe. This is a recipe that's tested, it's tried and true. And this is very particular. I don't know that I've ever had a corn dog with this crisp of an exterior on the outside. Like it is really nice. Like you get a crunch when you bite into it. This is a Kwame B certified A all day. Yeah, it's $7, but hey, there's a lot of bread on this. There's a good amount of hot dog, good amount of protein in there, I'm sure do whatever you want as far as the toppings, but this this literally could be eaten on its own. You don't need the ketchup or the mustard. This is freaking fantastic. What a way to kick things off today. Hitting the fair fry like this is nice. It's got a nice crispy exterior. You're supposed to hit it with like malt vinegar or apple cider vinegar. Look at that spray. Boom, 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 boom. Add some flavor there. We're gonna get a little bit of more salt on there. Look at this, here we go, boom. Right, that vinegar is gonna help that salt it here. Then we're just gonna go into it. Woo, these are hot. They were just flashed right before we ordered and they got a nice slight crisp exterior. These fries particularly, I don't know what type of potatoes they use, but they definitely have a heavy potato taste on the, on the interior. Not quite as fluffy as fries that I'm akin to and used to or that I serve in my restaurants. However, not bad at all. The vinegar adds some nice acidity. I love that person. I love malt vinegar on fried stuff, like fried fish, fries like this. I prefer a little more crisp on the outside. Overall, I give these fries a C. All right, we just got the signature strawberry shortcake from St. Clement's Catholic Church. They're here pretty much every year that I've known of. And you basically donate $6, get to make your own strawberry shortcake, choice of a pound cake or a biscuit, load it up with some macerated strawberries them whipped cream that they whipped fresh back there and then they top it off with a fresh picked strawberry. This is the signature of the Strawberry Festival. All right, here we go. Let's get one big bite here. Look at all this cream. This cream is so, like it's just got so much volume and nicely whipped. All right, here we go. Big bite, cream, strawberry, cake. That's it. I mean, I've been to the Strawberry Festival before when I first moved to Florida years and years and years ago now. I came here when the, for the first time, and this is as good as I remember. I mean, it's a generic shortcake on the bottom, generic little pound cake shortcake thing, but the strawberries, they're so fresh, so ripe. They're sweetened beautifully, but it just kind of comes together super well, and it's a really nice bite when you get everything together. Sweet, they're refreshing. The way they do the strawberries, they're not mushy. The strawberries, them slices themselves, still have a nice little bite in there. You get the textural contrast that you need. This is, for $6, a nice little dish. And again, it's the signature of the Strawberry Festival. Why not? Let me add, you can add as much of this as you want. Like, whatever you can fit in this bowl is what you can fit on there. You can do multiple scoops of strawberry, multiple scoops of whipped cream, and they'll give you a little strawberry on top. So as much as you can afford to fit in here and eat, that's up to you. So for $6, I say that's a pretty darn good value. This dish here at the Strawberry Festival, for me, what I'm eating right now is an A. That's pretty good. All right, we are here to get apple fries. We were told when we were in line for the corn dogs that we had to come and get the apple fries. How are you doing? I'm great, how are you guys? Tell people all about what you guys are doing and where you are, where they can normally find you. We only do the fairs and the festivals. We do this, uh, the state fair, we do the strawberry festival, and then we go up north um, in August and September and October for the Dutchess County Fair in Rhinebeck, New York, and the Big E in Massachusetts. This is um, our sixth year at um, doing apple fries, and we got our start here at the Strawberry Festival.
I really, honestly, I super, I like that a lot. Like that's very refreshing, good, and it's not overly sweet at all to where like, you get that coating in the back of your mouth. Like this is nice and clean. All right, here we go. The apple fry cart. Look at that, beautiful. Right behind us, we got their signature bacon caramel apple fries. Woo, ice cream sundae. Look at that, whipped cream, caramel on there, bacon. I'm just gonna taste one of these apple fries by itself, because this is, it's, oh, I can even feel in my hand that it's already gonna be crisp. That is so light and delicate and decadent, but I never, would have thought of turning them to fries, lightly coating them, cinnamon and sugar on them, like that's insane. That is legitimately delicious. Like that's serious good. Like I'm, I'm so happy we came here. Why do we have to travel so far to find good food here in Central Florida? My God, you get that crunch because the crust on the apple fries is amazing. Then the ice cream to kind of cream everything, pull it together, some nice sweetness. The bacon there is a little bit salty, add some more texture. This is fantastic. All right, we got not one, but two dishes from the apple fry stand. And this one is their signature for the Strawberry Festival only. So you've got to come out and get it here. Doesn't matter where else you see them. They're only going to have this dish while they are here at the Strawberry Festival. This is their signature apple fries, strawberry ice cream sundae. Let's get tasting and reviewing. Look at these. These strawberries are so fresh and nice. The apple fries right out the fryer we saw them make it fresh insane they make everything fresh to order here which is important that's what i do in all my restaurants and that's part of why the food tastes so good but you got to make it right and they do it well here let's taste what this is fresh ripe strawberries in season nice and sweet whipped cream strawberry glaze on there honestly if i didn't stop myself i would eat multiple of these those apples are so nice and light and apple fry, nothing is overly sweet here. It's well balanced, so you can eat it and eat it and eat it. The apple fries are so light. They're fried and everything, but I mean, they're fried really well. Like, this is not bad for you. If you got time to pick out and gorge out, get this. They know what they're doing back there. They know what they're doing because, again, nothing here was too sweet. This is already a balanced drink as well. It's sweet and tart. So when you drink this after eating this, it helps wash everything down and it's a nice, sweet, balanced tartness that takes over your palate wash it all clean so then you can eat again like my review for the apple fries here at the strawberry festival is an a Gary, you already know you already know that was absolutely fantastic you got to shout everything out where can people follow you find you we um, are on facebook and instagram apple fries fl that's where you can follow us and it also tells all of our events and where we will be next and we're not leaving here with nothing that's a tip i don't even believe in tipping i don't believe in tipping let's go let's go thanks gary bye Ah, we're here at uh, Giraldo's, original Cuban sandwiches. They say they're five generations in, so we're going to give all those generations a taste and a review. And they got strawberry lemonade. We got our haul from Giraldo's, five generations of Cuban food. We've got their yellow chicken and rice. We've got their strawberry lemonade and a Cuban sandwich that's waiting in the wings somewhere. Let's get started with the chicken and rice. A couple things here, it is really well seasoned. The chicken, I don't like the texture at all. The boiled chicken, it's like overboiled to where it's dry and stringy and kind of disintegrates nastily in my mouth. So I'm not really a fan of that. But there is a lot of good spices in this rice and a lot of good seasoning, a lot of good flavor. Just a little too salty for me personally and a little overcooked to where it's a little mushy texturally. To wash that down, I've got their signature strawberry lemonade. So let's see how this is. Man, this is really good. This is smooth. It's delicious, it's sweet, it's got a slight bit of tartness in there from the lemon, and the, obviously the strawberries are nice and ripe. They're in good season form here. And this cup is cute, there's only $2 more to get this cup, and so hey, little souvenir. The rice, I got some really salty pockets in there, so it's like a mouthful of sodium. This is great to wash it away, clear the palate. All right, we're moving on. All right, we got their signature item, the Cuban. All right, it is important to disclose, I have not met a Cuban sandwich that I've liked. So, <laughs> important distinction there, Cuban sandwich that I've liked yet. But, could this be the first one to change my mind? A Cuban sandwich is one of my least favorite type of sandwiches in the world. Again, hot ham and cheese, even since I was a kid, never sat well with me. However, I do have to say, this is among the best Cuban sandwiches I have ever had. There's some nice flavors in there. Again, it's still, for me personally, not my favorite type of thing in the world. 
But like, I could definitely eat this. Like, and I'm not, I'm not hungry by this point in time. So there's no reason for me to like this if I didn't. This is pretty good. Yeah, this strawberry lemonade plus this sandwich, that's a meal from there. Expensive because this was $12 and this is also $12. So $24, you're out of, I can't say I recommend buying it. But if you're into Cuban sandwiches and you want a good strawberry lemonade, go for it. And if you got the coin to spend, make it happen. Uh, chicken rice, avoid. No, just don't. Overall, my review for Geraldo's here at the Strawberry Festival is a solid C. We made it to our next stop, the Cookie Barn. Hi there, how are you? Good. That's beautiful, thank you guys. All right, we got the goods. And we've got one of each of their cookies. We've got their strawberry cookie, their strawberry white chocolate cookie, their chocolate chip cookie, and their sugar cookie. All the cookies are served warm. We saw them baking them fresh. We saw them mixing up the dough. That was cool. Let's start tasting it first, the strawberry cookie. It's the strawberry festival, it's a special cookie. Let's see, I've never had a strawberry cookie before. This is going to be interesting. It's got a slight crisp on the interior. It's really soft and gooey. It's definitely under, got that underbaked texture for a cookie. I do like underbaked cookies, so for me it's fine. For a lot of people, it's a bit too underbaked, I think it would be. It's like a strawberry flavored sugar cookie. Really interesting. I don't know that I'm personally a fan of it, but if you're a really big fan of strawberry flavoring, this could be for you. Now here's the white chocolate version. Let's see if the white chocolate with the strawberry sets it apart at all. I do like how the white chocolate chips add an additional layer of sweetness because the strawberry sugar cookie by itself is a little not as sweet, but with those white chocolate chips, it really brings it up a notch. It's pretty good. And then of course, we gotta try their chocolate chip. This one's really soft. I can feel it warm and gooey. The chocolate chip cookie I'm not a fan of. It's not sweet enough. I think some sea salt on the outside would help to bring it up, maybe using a little more brown sugar in the, in the dough. Rounding off with the sugar cookie. The sugar cookie, by far my favorite one. Definitely has that underbaked texture, but it has some nice crisp, crispy golden brown edges. Gives that flavor contrast. It's not super sweet, but unlike the other cookies, this one I feel on its own is sweet enough. Definitely gives you that traditional sugar cookie flavor in there. If you really like a crisp cookie or to be firm and hard on the inside, you would not like this. I would give this cookie barn the review of a D plus. And if you had to get a cookie from here, if you really wanted one, I would say the sugar cookies. Definitely try the strawberry one because it's strawberry festival if you're into strawberry flavoring. Sugar cookie though is the top one for me. We got our next stop here. We got fried alligator bites. We've got grits and I got frog legs that I'm gonna get in a second. Look at this, fried, it looks nice and crispy on the outside, a beautiful golden brown on there, and some gator sauce as they call it. Ooh, I just dropped that in the grits. All right, let's try these grits first. Uh, the grits are bland and flavorless. You know, that's the butter in there, but it's just regular grits mixed with water. They don't have any cream in there or anything to make it nice and luscious. And I'm a sugar and grits type of guy. That's what belongs in grits, sugar and butter, some salt, beautiful. This has none of that. Let's move on to what we actually came for though, the gator. Florida alligator. It's a little bit crispy on the outside. I personally would like it to be a little bit crispier, but as most gator I've had goes, it's a little chewy on the inside. Tastes really similar to chicken. Really, really similar to chicken. It's salted quite a bit on the outside, so eating it by itself, it's a nice little salty bite. I'm gonna try it in their gator sauce. It looks like some kind of mayo-based sauce, seasonings in there. It's all right. The sauce is decent, it's mayo-based sauce. I don't really have a whole lot to say about that. Fried gator, mayo-based sauce, skip the grits. Definitely eatable. Let's move on to the frog leg. That frog leg, the way it's sticking out and looking, it's got quite a suggestive look to it. So I'm just gonna go in and do what it's calling me to do and eat it. If it tastes like if you bit into a piece of chicken and fish at the same time, that's what frog leg tastes like. If you bit into a piece of like, catfish and a piece of baked chicken at the same exact time. That is the flavor profile of a frog leg. A little bit aquatic, a little koopy. Right, let's try it with some of the sauce. Now it's crispier a little bit than the gator. And I like that and the meat in the frog leg is firmer. There's just not much of it, it's so much bone. So I think they're fine. I don't mind the taste of them at all. It's just very expensive for what it is. That one piece is $9 and there's barely any meat on it. I, I, don't, I don't really love that for it, so. I wouldn't recommend getting that. That gator basket was $18. Not something I would absolutely recommend, but if you want to be exotic, if you're here traveling outside of Florida, you've never had gator before, never had frog legs, give it a try. This is not a bad way to introduce yourself to it. I think it's seasoned decently. I think it tastes all right. I wouldn't like say run to here, 
but I wouldn't say run away from here either. I would give it a solid C minus. Oh, it's called Kwame B. K W A M E B. All right. I hope you check us out. Thanks. We'll be posting this video soon. All right, we have the brisket berry taco from Fred's Market and Johnson's Barbecue Pit here at the Strawberry Festival. This is their signature taco that they have here. It's got strawberry pico de gallo, hand cut brisket, queso fresco, cabbage, and chipotle sour cream. I have never heard of a strawberry brisket taco before in my life. But someone in line told us, that, look, he told us it's really good. He said the sign is off by it. He said we should have bought two or three. I mean, I'm just got one though. You got to get like, two or three. Two or three at eight dollars a <laughs> taco, and not in his head still. So we'll see if he's right or not, because my opinions are mine alone. I don't care what he bought; it's what we bought. Let's get reviewing. Full, straightforward, honest opinion. This one taco costs eight dollars. I don't know if I would buy it again, even if it was free. This taco is not good. I mean, I'm not trying to knock anything or anybody, but the brisket is so dry and grainy. I don't know how long, they, how long ago they hand cut it, if it was last week, last month, last year, but my God, all the flavor, all the juice from this brisket has the long escaped. It is way past its expiration date for that. The strawberry pico de gallo, really interesting, um, sweet. It's got a little like zest in there, it, but, but it doesn't like, the flavor doesn't really match up together to where you would think it would be like this nice, you know, little sweetness added to it. If the brisket was maybe more moist, more tender, if the brisket had a little salt factor in it and it has like no flavor at all whatsoever, maybe that would be good. It's just kind of got a sweet little barbecue sauce on it for the brisket. That's not good. The cabbage, again, things like cabbage when you don't do anything to it, just takes away in my opinion. And you just get this watery cabbage taste that is not really good. The chipotle sour cream, it almost could not be there. You don't really taste it at all whatsoever. I just don't think that's an enjoyable taco. And then we're not even grilling or warming up the, the flour tortilla. So it's just really tacky and gummy and cold. Even if it was like $4, I would struggle to try it. But after tasting it, hey, seriously, you couldn't give this to me for the free. This one is an F. All right, here we go. We got from the cinnamon rolls cart here, we got the strawberry cinnamon dog. Or excuse me, we got the strawberry cinnamon dog. So this is a cinnamon roll wrapped around a hot dog on a stick. Strawberries and strawberry glaze on here, strawberry syrup. Look at that, what a crazy creation. Cinnamon sugar, strawberry glaze, Nathan's all beef hot dog in there. Let's get into it. That is an insanely odd flavor combination and pairing, but honestly, somehow it works. Like the cinnamon roll wrap itself is like nice and fluffy. It's sweet, it's buttery. You get the hot dog, the hot dog is firm, but it's salty, it's got a little good snap to it. And the strawberry glaze is really sweet, but the strawberries themselves have a little tartness to it that helps balance that out. So you get this sweet, this saltiness, this richness, this butteriness, it all kind of comes together. And it's actually not bad. I mean. Honestly, I could take it probably without the strawberries if I'm honest with myself, but obviously we're here at the Strawberry Festival, so this is a signature item for here. But that's weird. I didn't think that was gonna work at all. That works somehow. Honestly, I would give that solid C plus, absolutely. It's a nice dish overall. If you're really into strawberries and you can make it to the Strawberry Festival, I think this is something you would love. But I can say, we don't have time for it, but their cinnamon rolls, which I've had before in the past, years and years ago, are really quite good. And I can tell by the quality of the cinnamon roll, by the wrap that they use to make the hot dog cinnamon dog, it's really good. We are at Peachy's Baking Company, formerly known as the Amish Baking Company. Handmade, old style, Amish style donuts and pretzels. Made fresh, fresh to order, freshly glazed, hung right up in front of you. I'm excited. Hopefully they are as good as I remember. We got what we got from Peachy's Baking Company. This is their strawberry and cream donut. It's, it's got glazed strawberries and we've got fresh whipped cream on here. Let's just get into it because it's melting and it's going fast. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try and see if I can cut this. Look at this, nice and pillowy, soft. Woo! Never cut a donut before in my life. This is a first. We've got the cream there. We got the donut. Woo! All right. Let's go. Mm. 
it is so warm. It's so fresh. It's like, if you ever had a crispy, clean, hot now glazed donut, this is like a much bigger version of it in its apex form. Like, and the cream just goes so well. The glaze is tasty, it's delicious. The strawberries are slightly tart, slightly sweet, so they contrast a bit and they're nice and ripe. They got a good bite to it. It's an A for me, folks. That's as simple as it goes. I mean, this is every bit as good as I remember it being, maybe even more. I've eaten a ton today. This still tastes so freaking good. This is a Kwame B certified A. We did get donuts just by themselves and I just wanted to make sure this bag is hot and fresh. Look at this. Woo, look at these donuts. I mean, they're huge. Right, now they are $5 a donut, but they're handcrafted. They're making them right in front of you. Look at that. That is awesome. Here we go. Let's get right into it. Ready? That is too good. That's everything you imagine a fresh donut should be. Pillowy, soft, sweet. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's an A all day. That's the only way donuts should be served. <laughs> All right, so I'm just getting this cone. Yeah. It's not a shake. No. Oh, great you me, for a shake? You effed me up, man, on this one. Could I do a strawberry shortcake crunch topping cone? Strawberry shortcake crunch topping vanilla ice cream cone. Let's get it. It's melting, so let me go quick with this quick review. There's a lot of disappointment here because the vanilla soft serve is actually pretty good for soft serve. Everything else is not. Like all the strawberry crunch topping tastes really stale. I was expecting to have a nice like buttery crunch, some contrast, a strong strawberry flavor. I didn't get that at all. It just tastes stale, subtly strawberry, a little tart and sour. It doesn't really mix in well. It just becomes really grainy, really soft to chew, and then the ice cream makes it really cold. So it's not like that nice hard contrast that you would really want and expect from that. So that's a little bit disappointing, but the vanilla soft serve itself is quite really good. And that I would just get alone and save all the money from the additional extra toppings. But this as an entire dish as a whole, a D plus. $11 for this ice cream cone for all this um, other than that. Just get the soft serve by itself and that'll be fine. You get this like this for $11, save the money. A strawberry milkshake and a slice of strawberry pizza? Yes. Once you eat enough strawberries here at the Strawberry Festival, you come out looking a little different. We've got another Strawberry Festival special unique item. This one's from Brandon Farms. We've got their strawberry pizza, which there's some hot debate whether this is a pizza or a pie. You take a look at it, let me know what you think, leave a comment, is this a pizza or is it a pie? They call it strawberry pizza, so we're gonna try it. Let's get into it. Woo! I will tell you this, I don't usually eat pizza with a fork, but this one, that's what they gave me to eat it with. All right, looks like we got some strawberry jam on top with some real strawberries in there. Oh boy, crust on the bottom, some cream in the middle. I'm gonna be honest, that's not for me. Maybe with a better crust it would be if the crust was had a better crisp to it, was firmer. But it's really doughy and really salty. It's really, really like, there's this floury, salty taste in there, almost like Play-Doh. And that is not pleasant at all. The strawberries are having, the strawberry jam has a nice flavor to it, I do like that. But the cream cheese, cream in the middle, like everything else just falls short. And it's not a good bite for me at all. And that salty, floury, Play-Doh-y taste just becomes overwhelming to the whole thing and takes over. I can't recommend that. But they do sell the strawberry jam in jars, so maybe buy that instead. Moving on. We got one more item from Brandon Farms. We've got their signature strawberry milkshake. Now this item I actually, you know, a little nostalgic for me because I always wanted to try that. I've seen it here at the Strawberry Festival years and years ago. I didn't have enough money back then to be able to afford it at the end of my trip, so I wasn't able to get it. And now I've come full circle in life, and now I do have it. Let's see. It's actually pretty good. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's nice and sweet, and it has a strong strawberry flavor. It's like strawberries and cream just in a shake form, and it's easy to go down. It's not too thick, 
it's not it's a little too runny for me i would have wish it had a little bit more body for me but again it's nice and sweet not overly so creamy cool pretty delicious yeah i like that the shake definitely worth it the strawberry pizza stay away from that overall i give the place the review of a c All right, fam, so that's gonna do it for my review of the Strawberry Festival here in Plant City, Florida for 2024. This was an insane event. Had hand-dipped buttermilk corn dolls, strawberry shortcake, fries, apple fries, I mean, all kinds of things. Donuts, handcrafted donuts, strawberry shortcake donuts. This was an insane event. So many different things, so many things I didn't even get to try that I'm gonna have to come back for one day. This was crazy. Have you ever been to the Strawberry Festival before? If so, let me know what you thought. Leave a comment. And if you haven't been, did this inspire you to wanna go? There's a lot of things here that I think you should try. And even if you can't come to this festival, there's definitely some vendors here that you should check out wherever else that they go. This was a wild experience. It's great for family, friends. Not that expensive to get into and not that expensive to eat around. There's some things that are a little overpriced as you saw. Some things I think are really right on point, but I think it is a great experience. And if you haven't been, you definitely should come and try it and check it out for yourself. Until then, be well, eat wisely, and I will see you next time on Kwame Be Reviewing.